Hi, I want to show you today how to contribute to my open source project called Trails and SA or Trails Data. And it's a little project that has some trails in it um, with links that tell you uh, a little bit about the trails and uh, places to find the routes and things like that. So if we go to the GitHub page. I have some information here about how to contribute and the different trails. If you go to this contributing.md file, here it tells you how to contribute and to add a new trail. So I want to show you today how to add a new trail very quickly and without um, having to bring down any of the stuff onto your computer, just using uh, GitHub's a thing called code spaces. So everything's in the browser. So if we go back to the, the main page, uh, the main GitHub page, what you'll do on your side is you'll fork this repo. Then you'll have a repo in your side. Now you can do whatever you want to that repo and it doesn't affect this one. Now that we're in here, um, let's click full stop key and that will take us to a web editor, a GitHub's thing is called Code Spaces. And this is like a version of uh, the editor IDE in, in the browser. So what I want to do is I want to add a trail called Sable Ranch, which I just did. And so what we do first is we go to trails, and this one is in Gauteng. So uh, but before that, let's rather make a new branch. We want, to, we want to do a pull request of the whole process. So if I come here and I click on source control, I want to make a new branch. So I create a new branch, and it's called Sable. Can't spell Sable. All right. Switch to that branch, and we'll see here in the top. Um, it's actually gone to that different URL with the branch name Sable. And we'll just wait for that to open. And now we can go ahead. So now we're in Houting. Let's make a new file called Sable. Launch, um, Sable Launch, yes, let's call it Sable Launch, and then MD is a markdown file. And what I normally do is I come down here and I find the template. So here's the template of what you should have, and I paste that into the, the markdown file here. And then I just start filling in the things. So this thing is called front matter, and this is how we um, use, how we uh, categorize things in the website. So I'm going to give this Sable Ranch. Let's call it trail, and that's what they called it, and uh, give it a date. It's, um, 28 today, and you can, in this one, it's not really cycling. You can hike, you can walk, yeah, and you can run. Now we need a link to the website. So I've actually started, actually got the website already here. Let's add that one there, and then the location. What I normally do is I go to maps.google.com and then I find the place and once I found it like here, I click share and then I just copy this link. That's the easiest way. So let's put that here. And that should work if we click then we go to that page of Google. Okay. Yeah. 
I'm not sure why it's a shame. Let's take it out. Let's make sure that that still works. All right, that still works. All right, and it's not free, so we say false for 70 rand. Roots, I've also looked on all trails, and there's a nice uh, root that is on there, so I'll paste that one in there. Other links, I don't know if there's any other links. Um, I guess I could put Noble Village, which is the place right across. Yeah, let's put that there. I've actually looked at that before, so let's copy that. Let's not look at the Facebook stuff. And let's paste that in there as a link. Okay. Now we want to add some description of stuff. And I've also written that. All right, so let's copy that, paste that in there. And this is just telling people what it's about, what the trail is like, and anything else you wanna write there that'll help someone do it. Now, a picture. Uh, I have a picture, it's quite big, so what I suggest you do is go to squoosh.app and you'll paste the image I've got one here called Sable, and we'll paste that one in here, and we'll resize that. I'm choosing 800, which will be small enough, and what you probably can't see in the picture is that it's 500 kilobytes. So let's download that. All right. Computer struggling. Let's download that. Now we have a picture called Sable. Let's close that. Back in our page. If we go, we can actually grab that file and Put it into, into here, to the Gauteng folder, and let's rename that to Sable Launch. So that's easier. All right. Now, if we go back to our Sable Launch markdown file, we can add the picture here. I want to use the markdown syntax, which is like that. Oh, I think, yeah, I think it's like that. And do, and we do save or on. So JPEG. I actually think it's like this. I think it's, and then we want to give it a, um, An old description, basically, what, what's in the picture. So, view from Sable Orange Trail. Okay, and let's double check if that's how you're supposed to do a picture. Mark down, always forget. Let's click on another one. Yeah, okay, that's right. So now we have Sable Orange here. And um, that seems good. The code editor has a thing on the right, top right here, preview. So if we click preview, we can actually see what it might look like. And uh, yeah, that looks fine. Okay. Let's close that. Next thing you want to do is you want to go to the readme in the root, and we want to add Table Ranch to this, uh, let's call it an index. And I think if we go by alphabetical, we'll do it right here. So we'll go, let's copy one of these actually to make it easier. 
and this is save orange. Save orange trail, and this is save orange. Running, walking, and hiking. Okay, now that we have those three changes, if we come back here to source control, we can then look at the changes we want to make that we're making, and that seems okay. The README, uh, the picture, yeah, that was fine, and that new uh, file for the Sable Ranch Trail. Now we want to commit this. And we'll call it Sable Ranch. Okay. All right, now we've now we actually want to do the commit. That's the message. And now that we've committed the change, if we come back to our GitHub page, you'll probably see something similar to this saying there's been a push. We want to compare and pull request. So we want to do that. Um, let me click that. And this is showing, this is saying there's no problems. We can actually go ahead and create a pull request. We've added Sable Ranch. If there was already a, uh, an issue or something, we could probably just reference the issue up here. And this one, Nothing new, so we can just write adding new new trail sable ranch. Now you can create the pull request and what will happen now is it will run through some checks just to see if uh, the markdown is correct and there's no errors like date formatting and things like that are wrong. Just wait for that to finish and if everything's okay, it'll be a check mark, we're all good. If not, you're going to go have a look at the problem and just go back to your, your tree uh, where you're doing the editing and you can change something and commit again. And that'll, if I go back to uh, this pull request, that'll add a new commit here. And if you have problems, you can always write a comment uh, to me and I'll respond and try help you fix any, any problem. Okay, now the next step is uh, from, yeah, it'll probably just show you as a pull request. And because I'm the owner of this thing, I can actually merge it into the main project. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to say merge pull request. I don't think you'll have this button. You'll just wait to, for me to have a look at the, the change. And I'll merge, merge it in. So confirming. So now this is uh, going in, I might as well delete the branch because I don't need it anymore. And what will happen now is if we go to actions, there's an action trying to take this and it does another check, um, another check on the markdown and then it wants to build the, the Gatsby site. So that might take a while, so we'll just catch up when that finishes. Okay, so the pages have been built uh, by the action. If we go back to the code, this should be now added in. Go back to the, the raw stuff. There's a sable ranch there, so let's click that. Hopefully it goes to the right place. Great. And then if we go back to the home page and we click on the actual website, let's see if it's built. Let's go to Gauteng. 
And let's go down and see if we have Sable Ranch here. Great, Sable Ranch and got some, and it's, yeah, it costs money to hike there. It's got the date, it's got the website, the location, the routes. All right, that seems great, thanks. And that's how to add a trail to this, this little project of mine. Hopefully if you're in South Africa or somewhere, or you do trails, you've done trails here before, you'll add one. As you can see, if I go back to the website, we don't have many in other places yet. Still need to do some stuff there. And let me know what I missed, if there's anything that I could do better. My computer seems to be struggling with videoing and recording the screen at the same time. So I hope it's not too blocky and too many drop frames. 